Hey YouTube, a little quick video, focus, focus, on uh, one of the things I build for like uh, wedding gifts, shower gifts, that type of thing. My wife, uh, say, uh, she says, Kevin, you need to uh, build some more recipe boxes, so uh, that's what, that's what I do for three and a half by five inch recipe cards. I could do the four by six ones, but my bandsaw isn't tall enough to resaw. I use the bandsaw to cut this uh, after I build the box uh, with uh, box joints and uh, glue and uh, obviously a top, bottom and stuff. These are drying right now. They're a little tacky. Not too bad, I guess. Uh, it's just a tongue oil finish. As you can see, when I print, run the screws in, they go through. So I take a, a little Dremel tool with a grinder, grinding wheel on it, and grind them down so that they're not poking you. Uh, pretty easy to build. Takes a little bit of patience getting it glued and stuff. But I use a slow drying uh, tight bond three glue. Uh, gives me some time, ample time to sit there and screw around with the uh, getting the. Uh, the joints and this is just a little national brass hinge real simple I think they're three-quarter inch they're called um, but anyway so what they are is Bach joints or uh, finger joints some people call I prefer to call these or box the fingers I think are uh, kind of considered a little bit less a uh, uh, little bit uh, narrower probably like eighth inch anyway uh, just kind of an I uh, just kind of a thing that I I do and and uh, have a little template that I just draw a a, uh, a uh, that particular design on the side. No, it's not perfect. These are black Walmart. I'm Walmart. Walnut. She's always Walmart. Anyway, <clears throat> black walnut. Uh, boxes and uh, I've had some of this stuff sitting around for a while. I found another place to buy some wood that's uh, thin. It's hard to find thin wood. A lot of times you end up having to resaw it and then pulling it down and uh, that gets to be kind of a pain in the neck. So uh, I did have enough wood uh, sitting around from to uh, to do these two boxes complete. So Sometime I'll have to show the jig I use. I have uh, an Incra iBox jig. It's about a $160 jig. I use it on a, uh, a router table. And I uh, really enjoy doing these little things. They're kind of fun to do. Uh, it takes about one, two, three, four, eight clamps to clamp these things together. I know there are clamps, uh, belt clamps now that you can buy for box joints and stuff but I just feel I, I I guess I don't need to buy any more stuff uh, what I do works so I use a belt sander and then uh, once I get the belt sander down the uh, edges knocked off of the, uh, the the deals and then this leveled off decent then I take my uh, random orbital sander and sand them down and and then get them down to about 220 there, actually 180, and then I take some 320 grit, and then uh, then uh, finish it off, and then I cut the uh, cut the uh, box lid off, and uh, like I said, I got a template for that. Uh, works great, fun to do. Uh, I've got a bunch of different. Uh, uh, species of wood I bought. I'm kind of anxious to get started on that since now the box joints are a lot easier than my new jig. So give that a whirl. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.